All right, guys, it is Monday afternoon, almost evening. So we have some good and bad news. Good news I'll give you first. I actually just got a call from Paul Miller Honda in New Jersey. They have a Boost Blue Type R that just came in off the truck today. I tried to give them an offer on the phone and that I would come in and try to finalize that today, but according to the sales manager, they don't negotiate on the phone, so I'm making the hour drive over there now. Going to see the car, take a video of the car, see how it looks in person because Boost Blue is actually my number one color choice. So hopefully we can come to terms on a price. They're asking 15,000 over MSRP, which is honestly double my max offer at the other dealership that we went to in the last video. So we'll see, maybe we get lucky, but regardless, we're gonna go see the car in person and I'm excited for that. The bad news is where I had another deposit on a Boost Blue in my area, we had come to terms on a price at 5K over MSRP. I confirmed it via text message. I also went into the dealership and confirmed it again with my salesperson. Unfortunately, the finance manager was not there at the time I was to draft up a purchase order. So I was waiting for that the next day and they hit me with the bad news that they can no longer offer the 5K over MSRP and the minimum that they would do is 12K over MSRP. So I'm pissed about that. I still have the deposit on that car and I'm waiting to hear back from my salesperson what they can do about that. And I'm gonna head over to the dealership and we'll see that Boost Blue live in person for the first time. Look at this thing. That's sick. Huge Mercedes dealer. So this is Caldwell, New Jersey. And here's Honda. We made it to Honda. We're gonna speak to Rob and he's gonna take us out back. It's a pretty big dealership. Yeah. Wow, there it is. There it is. So is it literally ready to deliver by like tomorrow? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I assume you're not drilling a hole in the bumper for the plate. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Damn. This thing is sick. Okay. The blue is better in person than I thought. Wow. Is this all bird poop? <laughs> What's that? Is this all bird poop? I guess it hit on the way, yeah. That's was on the sick. Top. Damn, there it is, guys. All new type bar. I think it's freaking sick. Let's take a look inside. Oh. Forty-four three eight five, and that's the market adjustment they have. We try to get that down. Oh. Oh. Oh, it was locked. You're good. You're good now. Awesome. Damn. Yeah. So they went with the red carpet in this car. Jesus. The back seat looks pretty much identical to the FK8 back seat, which is not a huge deal. The red carpet's definitely something different. I like the new rear spoiler. Still have the three exhaust tips. Type bar mats. Yeah. 
so nice. So we have the Type R right here. Freaking so nice, this car. It's got bird poop all over it though, which sucks. <laughs> but all right, let's, uh, let's go inside and talk some numbers because this is pretty much everything I was expecting you to see. Nothing more, nothing less. So here's the SI 11th gen in orange. It's actually a really nice color. But anyways, we could not make a deal with the dealership. I wasn't expecting to really close on a deal today anyway. But basically what they said, 12K over was the absolute best that they could do because anything less that they would just consider other offers because they had like 11 other people uh, ready to come in and look at it. I was the first person to come and look at it. And if you didn't watch my first buying FL5 Type R video, this is one of the 30 plus dealerships that I had called. First dealership to call me back saying that they had a Type R come in. So immediately I hopped into the car and took the drive over here. So an hour each way, it's, I didn't waste my time. I got to see the car in person up close, got video and pictures for YouTube and Instagram. So I'm happy that I was able to see it. And actually I love the Boost Blue more than I even did before. So I'm gonna be kind of upset if I have to go with the Sonic Gray over the Blue. But honestly, I'm just, buying the one where they have the best price and so far the sonic gray is going to be the best price so far i'm gonna head back now next door is a mercedes dealer they have the new g63 squared which looks really sick so in jersey like the roads are always divided so i'm gonna see if it's a pain to get over there but if it's too much of a hassle i'm just gonna skip it but if it's easy i'm gonna go in there and get some video so unfortunately we didn't make it to mercedes i they did have the g63 squared in that showroom but i just didn't feel like stopping for that anyway but that's it guys that was the my, or my first impression and first time seeing the new fl5 in boost blue definitely love the blue i don't know if i love all the red carpet with the red seats i think if they had kept the maybe the red carpet with black seats or black carpet with the red seats like the last gen that would be more suitable but i think it could grow on you the white with the red i think is probably the best combination i have to say without being like too wild of a color combo but the blue is definitely my favorite color still hoping to get that allocation at the other dealership for them to come back down in price i'm hoping they will but you know five thousand dollars over msrp definitely is a no-brainer at this point but at some point they probably realized yeah we're not going to do that anymore because other people are paying you know 10 to 15k more but we'll see i'm still locked in on that gray pearl and you know, worst comes the worst, I'm going to have to go with that because I have a $1,000 non-refundable deposit on that one anyway. The goal was to find a blue one for cheaper and to just, you know, forgo my $1,000 deposit and hopefully they could let me use it on another car at some point or just buy like Honda aftermarket parts for the Type R instead or they just give me back like half. Who knows? But I tried to speak with that dealership today and they did not get back to me the salesperson I was working with is now on paternity leave for X amount of months. So I'm just working with the sales manager directly and he hasn't called me back. Stay tuned for more Type R. I'm still on the hunt. I'm continuing to search for the best price. And honestly, I think that was the first FL5 to land or one of the first of the few FL5s to arrive in the Northeast. I haven't heard of anyone else in New York, Connecticut, New Jersey get an FL5 yet. So I was very surprised to hear that on what is today, the 5th, that they got one in. So my friend Brad also has a Boost Blue coming, but his is not supposed to arrive for another couple weeks. So we'll see. Maybe that dealership just got lucky and I'm not sure how many other Type R's were on that truck. It could have just been that one car, but I don't know.
Honestly, that's a question I should have asked. But if you like the video, make sure you smash that like button. And if you want to continue seeing Type R content, make sure you smash that subscribe button. And we'll see you in the next one. See you guys.